we can see Xiao Yang deals really with the sides of the body, right? The ulnar aspect of the hand and the posterior medial aspect of the upper extremity and across the shoulders and the lateral aspect of the foot and lower extremity. The sand jiao channel of Han Xiao Yang, primary channel, begins on the ulnar end of the ring finger, point one sun posterior to the nail root on the ulnar side. It runs between the fourth and fifth metacarpal bones on the dorsum of the hand, travels up the posterior aspect of the forearm, between the radius and the ulna, between the small and large intestine channels, moves across the olecranon, and travels up the posterior lateral aspect of the upper arm to the shoulder. It travels towards the spine, where it intersects with the governor vessel and all the other yang channels, do 14. Ascends to the highest point of the shoulder. It'll intersect gallbladder 21 at that point. That's where the location for gallbladder 21 is. Descends anteriorly into the supraclavicular fossa, stomach 12, right? which all of the yang channels meet except for the UB channel, disperses in the area of Ren 17, but in the center of the chest. It intersects with the pericardium and then descends to the diaphragm. It intersects with Ren 12 and it connects the upper, middle, and lower jowl. There's also an internal pathway that continues to descend and connects with the lower Hussey point of the San Zhao channel of Han Xiao Yang, UB 39, urinary bladder 39. Another branch separates at Ren 12 and ascends, crossing under the clavicle, traversing the anterior portion of the shoulder and then the neck, right? And then ascends and surrounds the ear. Circles behind the ear to the temple and then it winds across the, the cheek and intersects with the small intestine channel, ascends to the lower area around the eye and then it's difficult to see on the drawing. But a branch separates behind the ear, enters the ear, and then emerges in the front of the ear, where it connects with small intestine 19, gallbladder 2, 3. And then it crosses the face and terminates at the lateral end of the eyebrow. The sinew channel begins the ulnar side of the ring finger runs up the dorsal aspect of the hand, binds at the wrist, follows the posterior aspect of the arm, binds at the elbow, tip of the olecranon, ascends the upper arm over the shoulder to the neck, a branch separates at the angle of the mandible and moves deeply to connect with the root of the tongue. Another branch moves up to connect the outer edge of the eye and then moves uh, superior, superior and posterior really to bind the corner of the head. So I hope you're starting to see, I hope it's starting to make sense to you that we really are looking at a web being created that connects, integrates the entire body both superficially and deeply connects the organ systems to each other, connects the interior to the exterior, creates a pathway by which we can stop path, uh, exterior pathogens from entering, but also pathways to affect changes deep within the body if a disharmony occurs from an internal source. We connect top and bottom, 
and all of these channels begin to connect and, and uh, intersect and it's this deep 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 band of communication throughout the entire body the San Jiao channel is ascribed to the fire element so many of the points will have an action reducing fever particularly fever associated with an external pathogen one of the six exogenous evils we can see that because of the pathway of the channel surrounding the ear there are going to be points on the channel that benefit the ears because of its relationship to fire and because of its relationship to the eye we'll see be uh, benefiting the eyes or clearing heat from the eyes and we know that the liver opens into the eyes too and Shui Yin is paired with Xiao Yang so liver fire cases of liver heat affecting the eyes some of the points on the San Zhao channel may be good for that clearing heat from the neck and throat soothing the heart and calming the spirit because of its close relationship with the pericardium a lot of the points in the San Zhao channel will be indicated for chest pain heart agitation restlessness insomnia and other signs that may be associated with the spirit being out of order because of the distribution of the channel the point will be points on the channel will be good for treating headache and because it is the San Zhao channel, we'll see points on the channel effective in harmonizing the three Zhao, the San Zhao.